Hi, my name is Shelby. For this project, I'm going to letter the word January, and I am using the pigment gouache, which is a lot like watercolor, only it's opaque rather than transparent. I add water till it's about the consistency of whole milk or tomato soup. The paper for this project is Arches Text Wove and the letters will be made with an automatic pen which is a fairly large pen and as I fill it, it holds enough pigment to make about one letter which is about seven pen widths tall or in this case two inches high. I'm lettering in all capitals and I have used some tiny guide marks to help me place the letters carefully. You can see that I finished the J with just the corner of my pen. There you can see the guide mark where I'm going to start my letter A. For the letter N, I can feel that it's the pen, the pen and paper are dragging a little bit together. As I start the second stem, notice that I pull the corner of the pen up to start the letter and make that little mark also to show where I want that second stem to be placed. But I can feel for some reason the N is a bit rough. These are fairly informal capitals and as I make the bowl of the U I drag up the second stem with just the corner of the pen. As I make this A you'll see that I am waiting to come back until the main lettering is done to add the crossbars and the serifs. For the R, when I come back in, I flatten the pen to make the bowl. And I come around, don't touch quite to the stem of the R. I refill for this to make the diagonal or the tail of the R. I, in my mind's eye, create a placement for that Y and thicken up the stem there of the Y as I pull up again to make the second bar there on the Y and thicken it up because I felt it was just a little too thin and finish off the stroke and now I'm going to come back in and put on the crossbars and the serifs because it creates a little bit more of a consistency or consciousness of the placement of the crossbars and the serifs. For better or for worse, I thicken up the bowl of the U and add the serif. And as I reload, I come back to measure the placement of the first crossbar of the A to do the second crossbar of the second A. And still unhappy with the N, I come back to touch it up and I remove some of the ragged edges and physically turn the paper upside down to finish and touch up the diagonal of the N. And I just leave the pool of pigment that's there. It'll dry just fine. And there you have the word January in light blue on a field of white.